In this video, we'll take a look at how you can automate the process for backing up your files. You want to connect an external drive with plenty of space for the backups, and here you can see that I have a 4TB drive which has plenty of space. So to get started, go to Start, and then Settings, and then go to Update and Security, and select Backup on the left hand side. So here you can add a drive. So click add a drive and here select the external hard drive that you have connected to your computer. So that will turn on the option to automatically back up your files. Now go to more options. So if you go to the drop down option for back up my files you'll see that you can select how often you want to back up your files so whether that's daily, every hour or 10 minutes. Select an option that suits you. If you don't select an option it will leave it on the default option of every hour. Then go to the drop down option for keep my backup and here you can keep backups from forever down to one month. If you plan on keeping backups for a long time you want to make sure that you have an external hard drive that has plenty of space. Next you can select the folders that you want to back up and by default it will back up all the folders in your profile like your documents, favourites and pictures etc. If you see a folder that you don't want to be included, just select it and remove the folder. You can also exclude folders from the backup by adding a folder to the section. You can exclude folders from within your profile or even select additional drives here. So once you've confirmed all the settings, go back up to the top and select backup now. So once the backup has completed, Let's just go and do a test restore. So you can see in my pictures folder here that I have a JPEG file there. So we'll go ahead and delete that. And instead of going to the recycle bin to restore that, if you don't have that option, if you go to the home tab at the top of the folder there, and then go across to the history button, that will bring you into your backups that have been taken. And in my last backup there, you can see that the JPEG file is available. So if you just select that file and then go down and select the green button, which will restore to original location. And that will bring the folder back up and you can see that the JPEG file has now been restored. So that's how you back up and restore files in Windows 10. Thanks for watching and don't forget to leave a like on this video and subscribe for more tutorials.